Do you prefer like being on stage and on the road or being in the studio? This is always a really hard question because mm. if it weren't for writing in the studio, you wouldn't be, you able, to, be able to. Perform. Yeah, so it's like without you can't have one without the other. Um, I think it's really important for me to write because it wouldn't be the same journey for me as an artist. I don't feel like it'd be the same experience. So that is always so important and it is like therapy because I literally go into the studio and I just let all of my feelings out and I'm just yeah. like, right, I feel like this lately and this has happened and I talk about it and then I feel better. Yeah. And then it gets in, put into a song, which I think's just mad how that happens. <laughs> this is why I feel like performing is incredible because for me, I'm, I'm quite like, a nervous person. Meeting new people um, is quite scary for me and I always, really? yeah, I always get like, a bit of anxiety. And then when I'm on stage, it's like all of that just goes and I'm not nervous about these thousands of people, which is so nuts because mm. if it was just in a normal situation, I'd be like, someone go in front of me or something yeah, like that. Yeah, so yeah. just to be on stage and feel completely normal is like the best thing. Do you feel like you have like an alter ego for when you're on stage? Yeah, always? perhaps. Like, Beyonce's got her Sasha Fierce. <laughs> I need to make one. Yeah. Who should I call myself? What would myself? your name be? You know, um, once when I was getting packed once, someone didn't know what my name was and they just heard <laughs> someone say something and they were like, Felicity! No! They thought my name was Felicity, so yes, maybe it's so Felicity. Yeah. Felicity! <laughs> that was so funny, I was like, who are you talking about? Amazing. Now we've all been heavily anticipating the release of your debut album. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you are as well, right? <laughs> yeah. It's, it's so hard, because I've been writing for like six years, so yeah. I feel like everything I write is so personal that I would put everything on an album, so I probably right. would have had like, 24 albums so far, <laughs> yeah. but obviously I, you get better at writing and you experience better things. I did write a lot about heartbreak mm. all the time and that's good because people have experienced it and people understand it, but then you, I, I kind of went through a phase of the self-love part of life and, and growing up as a female and like all these different emotions that I wanted to write about. Because I, I, I used to listen to albums when I was younger, like Alanis Morissette and Christina Aguilera and Lauren Hill. They were all like other stuff involved in an album that weren't just about heartbreak. Mm. So with my album, I've, I've kind of, I've squeezed all of the songs on there that have different feelings on. So that's what it's about. And now you've spoken a lot about, you know, the constant pressures of the industry and especially pressures on women. Sometimes you'll post photos on Instagram or Twitter or whatever where you're not wearing any makeup and mm. you're kind of showing the real you. Is that mm. that's something that you're quite passionate about, right? Yeah. For me, it, it stems from when I was younger and I, I weren't happy with myself mm. and I spent so many years just being like, a bit like, oh, I don't really like my face. Like, Aww. even look, but like, yeah. it stems from that and now I'm like feeling good about myself and I, I actually can deal with looking at photos of myself. <laughs> and I just want to like give that to girls and people in general and boys, you know, just at a younger age so they learn to love themselves faster than I did. I think if you're given a platform to speak, then why not? I'm not scared to do that. I just want people to feel good and love each other.